I'm going to have a tip within a tip here. We did Google voice typing and I made all kinds of edits to this document. What I'm going to do next is to go into this little button right here, this button, which is um, the ability to go in and view your history. And I can see all the different people who have commented on this document or have seen this document, all viewers within the school district, anyone that it is shared with. I can see my sharing history here, all the people I've shared this particular document with and all the viewers as well. And it will show whether they have viewed it within the hour or not. So that is the activity dashboard. So you can find out an amazing amount of information about your current document by clicking that little arrow. Document editors can see your view history for this file, not just you, but your document editors as well. But if you go down to the file menu, you can go to what's known as the version history. Follow version history over to the right and click on C version history as well. So click C version history. And I'm going to go back to what this document looked like on July 9th. And now I'm going to click on July 9th and I'm going to restore this version. And now every edit that I've made today on this document will be gone. So I'm going to click restore and see all those corrections I made, uh, they're gone. So now I'm back to where I was. I say corrections, actually what I did is messed up my document and uh, I've restored it now to the way it was when I first started. So there you go. So now I'm back to the document and I'm good to go. So that's an example of using version history uh, to take a look at all the edits you've made within a document. We did it through file, we went to version history, and then the other option would be to go into document editing history as well, clicking on the history of the document and going to viewers. You got viewer trend as well listed there. We'll actually make some type of chart based on the unique viewers in this case. You've got comment trend, sharing history, and privacy settings as well that you can set up ahead of time. So those are some extra more advanced history features.